Thank you, Provost Mangelsdorf, for that kind introduction. Thank you to Chancellor Blank and the senior class officers for selecting me for this opportunity. Good morning. Today, I would like to share the simple things that we've perhaps forgotten throughout our academic journeys. What it means to recognize our limitless possibilities, to embrace our individual talents in the faces of complexity, and the ways in which we are now responsible for giving back. It took me some time to learn that there were limitless possibilities within me. There were years in my life when my mother and I had to live with extended family. I would cradle onto a twin-size bed and share it with my cousin and her son. I reflected on moments like those when I got to travel to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil in 2016 with the UW Global Gateway Program. In Brazil, I got to stare into blue-gray expanses of ocean, climb mountaintops, and touch the sands of Ipanema. At the end of the day, I would rush back to the hotel and upload my adventures to Snapchat. It was there where my cousin left me a message. Let the world tell it. You're not supposed to be here. It's incredible how much you've been able to achieve. And that is why I say to everyone here today that this is why we write our own narratives. Dreams are possibilities, opportunities sitting within us waiting to be actualized, realize there are constant possibilities within you, ready to flow as if they were a grand waterfall. We have successfully embarked on the path of knowledge, but we must remember that the path to knowledge is distinct from the path to truth, and the path to truth is our true prerogative to lead with compassion is our goal. In our pursuit of higher education, we've proven that we are capable of evaluating complexities. Complexities like knowing while controversial, topics such as religion and politics belonged in our classrooms because they affect our everyday lives and teach us to listen to one another complexities. Taking ownership of your individual talents is a way to interact with life's complexities. As a student at UW-Madison, I organized protests that gave underrepresented students a voice through art. As a first wave scholar, I was able to perform and workshop with internationally recognized scholars and artists. Complexities are what give life a dance that represent the ebb and the flow. As lifelong learners, I encourage everyone here to stand tall in the face of pushback. Don't be afraid of the pull. Your uniqueness is an asset. Embrace your story, your voice, and your creativity. Lastly, it's time for us to recognize that we too can give back, to support others as those have supported us. When my mother and I had no place else to go, my great uncle transformed his garage into a living space. I called him Papa. He was a carpenter whose dreams went farther than the tool shed. And perhaps I was one of those last dreams to make it out of the tool shed. Papa took me to church. Papa taught me to sing. Papa couldn't dance, no. <laughs> but 
He did give me all of the spirit that I needed in order to put a little two-step in my bounds. He was part of the inspiration for me to be who I am today. And unfortunately, Papa passed away because of prostate cancer and has missed out on some of these greatest moments. Complexities are what make life a dance. There are those who lack hope, those who are unable to look forward, or those who can't see that dreams are possibility. For those who sometimes go to sleep in the dark, who are insecure and question their own potential, or for those who just seek the comfort of a brighter day, I ask myself, how can I move barriers so that they too can view the streams? Because we are rushing water like stampede, redefining riverbanks and our purposes in order to change the world around us. We are capable. So I ask all of you today, what possibilities are you ready to actualize? What talents will you embrace? Who in your life will you be there for? Allow these questions to sit with you on this momentous day. Let them frame the direction of your newfound life outside of the walls of this institution. For this is what it truly means to have been a badger, to be a badger, to not just have studied, but to have completed an entire journey at the University of Wisconsin-Madison.